up guys? Um, this tutorial is going to be about updating the controller list yourself. Um, if you have a controller that you're pretty sure isn't in the controller list for the Taddy Boggle 360 controller drivers, this will be how to update them yourself. It's relatively simple and um, this, I mean, it's, it's simple if you actually understand. Um, I guess you kind of have to have a little bit of knowledge as far as how this is all made and everything, but um, so, you know, if you if you really don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't mess around with it because you might end up messing something up. But if you do know what you're doing, um, or you're just feeling adventurous, you can uh, give this a try. Um, for this, you're going to need, I'll have these in the, uh, the description of the video, but you're going to need the controller list installer and a controller list to edit. You're also going to need a program called Text Wrangler. Um, you can just Google Text Wrangler, and it's by a company called Bare Bones. This is the download link. It's a free program, um, so you can go ahead and grab that as well. And that's all you're going to need for this. Um, for this demonstration, I'm going to um, I'm going to use my own controller. I'm going to remove it from the controller list and then basically re-add it, just so you guys can see the whole process. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the controller list, so you guys can see basically what I'm doing. Um, I'm using Text Wrangler to open up the controller list. And then my controller is the Afterglow AX1. I will explain this a little bit more in depth when I actually show you how to add a controller. So uh, don't worry about keeping up at this moment in time. Afterglow, 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 right here. Okay. So the Afterglow is no longer in the controller list. Now before I update, I'm going to show you that I am currently using the controller list that still has it in there. My afterglow is plugged in, and I'm just going to push a couple buttons, there you go. You can see that it's still responding. Now this is the one that I just edited and took the controller out of. Uh, I would recommend unplugging the controller before you update it, but I didn't do that. So if I unplug it and plug it back in, it no longer responds because it's no longer in the controller list. So now I'm going to show you how to put your controller in the controller list. So my controller is still plugged in, and we need to find two numbers. To find those, you will need to go up there, click About Mac, More Info. If you're on Lion, this will pop up and you'll have to hit System Report. If you are not on Lion, it'll instantly take you to this window. You need to go down, click USB, and this is the portion that you need to find. It'll be under USB bus. Uh, it looks like there's actually several. So you're going to need to find the one that looks like it signifies your controller. And um, the two numbers you're going to need are the product ID and the vendor ID. So what I do is I just go ahead and leave this window up, uh, preferably not in the way of the controller list. Open your controller list. Now, you're going to start out way at the top here, and um, don't mess with anything above here. This is all relatively important stuff. What I go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go ahead and explain kind of how this works. These are each little uh, sections here. Um, each section basically signifies another controller. You can see this is the name of the controller. Uh, this is all stuff to identify the controller, where the plugins for the controller are installed. Um, just kind of some technical things. But if you look at it, you kind of see the pattern here. It just shows you, you know, that's a controller, that's a controller, there's one. So if you want to add a controller, you can copy any of these sections, and you basically need to take it from where it says key, the controller name, and then all the way down to where it says the slash D-I-C-T. You need to copy that. I uh, hold command and press C. You can also find copy up here, in case you didn't know that. I go all the way to the bottom, locate the last controller on the list here, and then you want to go one line below that and go ahead and paste in your controller. Um, it's optional, but I like to name your controllers. 
it doesn't affect whether it'll work or not. So just so you can kind of know which one you're messing with. So um, I just basically added that section to it. Um, and then we need to go back to our little panel here. Go ahead and take your product ID, copy that. And then over here, you're going to find a spot that says ID, product, key, integer. Um, and where these, where these numbers are right here, go ahead and replace those with the numbers that you found over here. And then do the exact same for the vendor ID right here. All right, make sure you save your changes. You can close all of this now that you've saved. I go ahead and um, preview my document. You can highlight it and just press spacebar. And you can see that it did hold the, the changes that I made to the document. So at this point, I unplug my controller. Go ahead and drag and drop that controller list onto the installer, which will be supplied in the uh, description as well. Give it a moment to run all that. Open up your preference pane once again. Plug in your controller, and there you go. Now, I made this look extremely easy, but um, I know some of you are probably confused by it. Um, just make sure you follow the steps very, um, very closely, or else you can, I mean, you, you can't really mess it up. The worst thing you can do is mess up the controller P list, in which case all you have to do is re-download it and um, update it once again, and you'll have a fresh one. So you really can't mess anything up, so there's no reason to be afraid um, of trying this, but um, I've had people who say that their controller, they don't think their controller is um, basically supported in the package. So if you don't think your controller is in the controller list, that's how you can add it just to make sure that it is. And then um, you can kind of count that out um, of your errors. I know a lot of people are still having problems getting this running on um, Lion. So give this a try. Um, this is also just for people who want to know how to update the controller list themselves. So I hope this helped you guys, and um, as always, uh, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, let me know if you have any questions, and um, as always, I will try to, try to um, respond as quickly as possible. So thank you.